Susie, we know you're only, you know, 18 years old. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you've been here how many years? I mean, to support this event, you love coming back every year. Oh, I love Foot Locker. I did this in 84 and 85, so I'm 43 now. Love to say my age. Um, and you know what? I've been doing this forever, but it keeps getting better every year because I tell you, the young athletes here are amazing, gifted people. Not only are they fabulous runners, but more, they are fabulous people. And that's what makes it so special, coming to Foot Locker every year. And I know that you've had friendships that have lasted since you were here. I mean, tell us about that, the bonds that you make while you're here over the weekend. Oh, you know what? I keep in touch with a lot of the young girls. Um, they'll email me questions or concerns, things that come up in other races they have. So I'm a support for them throughout their whole life. And I still hear back from Foot Locker athletes who are, say, are keeping me posted on what they did, the Olympic team they just made. So it's really, really cool. So you've made the Olympics, obviously, three times. You've been, you know, world ranked every t every single time you raced, basically. You know, what does it feel like to be back here where it kind of all started? Foot Locker is one of my favorite races of all the races. First, my first favorite was in fifth grade when I beat all the boys. But I would say Foot Locker ranks right up there as number second because of the friendships I made. And I know if you ask every Foot Locker athlete, they will say the exact same thing. Not only are you treated like royalty here, but it's the friendships that last forever. The royalty doesn't last forever, unfortunately, but the friendships stay with you forever. And that is what makes it so special. So if you were coaching one of these athletes, what would you tell them going into the race tomorrow? I would tell them, first of all, you're going to have a lot of hype and hoopla. That is something you just have to get over. It's, it's just parents and coaches, and they're so excited. They're the ones with the cameras. Um, so basically, that's out of your control. And the race is out of your control. The weather's out of your control. Just run like you always run. Have a good, positive mind. When you're tired, think that you're strong and powerful. Believe in yourself and make sure you're smiling at that starting line. Well, thank you very much, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Love you, Carrie. You're, she is the best commentator ever. You heard it here first. <laughs>